Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connor here from Mangudox and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be making an urban dictionary command. Now, the way we're going to pull from the urban dictionary is we're going to download a module or require a module more like called urban. Now, the way we install this is we do MPII space urban. You can do dash dash shave if you wish. And if not, you can do dash global. So now that we have this module installed, what we're going to start off with is making sure that this command cannot be used in anywhere apart from a not safe for work channel. And the reason I say this is because there is quite a bit of, um, I would say above 18 content on the, the uh, urban dictionary. So what we're going to do is we're just going to return if it isn't. And we're going to say, please run this command in a uh not safe for work channel and this basically means if someone tries to run the command in a not safe for work channel it will just return so what we're saying here is we're going to check if the args are greater than one or if the args uh if args one isn't equal to search or random so the way we do this is we use includes and then we're going to check args zero to see if it has and then outside here we're going to do return message dot channel dot send and then we're just going to send the the usage here so for this we're going to do dash urban and now obviously there's other ways that you can do this that are probably more efficient but just for the sake of this we're just going to do it this way and we do search or random and then we're going to have an optional query here. Now, what I, actually, what I think we're going to do here is we're going to change this around just to kind of flaunt throughout the thing. Like, obviously, search comes first here, search comes first here. And we're going to keep it like that just to make sure everything is fine and dandy. Next, we're going to require an image. And the image is going to be set as the thumbnail and the author of the, the embed. Uh, if you want this image, I'll link it down in the description. So you can hop on down there and grab that right now. Then what we're going to do is we're going to let search. And now in the search, what we're going to do is we're going to use a, if I add an equal sign here, in the search, we're going to use what we call a ternary operator. If you guys don't know what this is, then please do Google it. So what we're going to add in here is args.slice1, and then we're going to join the arguments with a space in between, or we're going to do urban dot random like this so basically if an args one is given we're going to make it search for the argument and if not there's going to be a rant so under this we're going to add a try catch if you guys don't know what a try catch is by all means please do google it it is very good for error handling and um for this case i think the try catch is very relevant because this module hasn't been updated in quite a while so there might be some instances where it doesn't pull correctly and then we're just going to catch just in case so what we're going to do is we're going to do args first and this is going to get the first uh given result in the json that is given then we're going to do if there is no results we're going to return and say message dot channel dot send no results found for this topic sorry and then we're going to go to the next line we're going to add a object deconstruction we're going to do word we're gonna do definition. We're gonna do example. We're gonna do thumb underscore up. Then we're gonna do thumbs underscore down. Permalink. And then we're gonna do the author here as well. Then it's just gonna equal res. So basically, instead of doing, for instance, res, res dot example, and then on the line below doing res dot word we can just straight away input word and example and that will count as the variable being called there next what we're going to do is we're going to define an embed and then we're going to do rich embed up here you can see that we have the embed uh decon the object deconstruction and only requiring the rich embed from the discord.js module next we're going to set the color and as you can see we import the colors uh, .json. And that's why we have what we have here. We have the scion. Then we're going to do author. And for here, we're going to do urban dictionary. Dictionary. And then we're going to do word. Outside of these template literals or the backticks rather, we're going to do image. And that basically is going to set the image as the uh, display next to the author. Next, we're going to set the thumbnail. 
And there's always a, everyone does the, the way they format their embeds differently. I normally do the author and the colors all set up here. And then I do the body text, which is in this case going to be the set description. And we're going to be using strip indents for this. If you guys haven't seen me use the strip indents before, then you haven't watched the, uh, the help embed tutorial. So we're just going to do the definition. We're going to do definition and sometimes there won't be definitions. So we're going to have an or operator and then we're going to say no definition. If I can spell that right definition. Then we're going to go to the next line and we're going to do example. And as previously what we've done is we've done what we did above and then we're just going to do no example. And actually what we can do is we can capitalize the, then we're going to go to the next line and we're going to do upvotes. Then what we're going to do instead of having the string be the back full or full back rather, we're just going to have an integer and we're going to set it as zero. Uh, just because if there is no upvotes given, normally it just is zero. And even if there is none, then that's normally just better practice so that it shows that there is zero. Then we're going to have the thumb thumbs underscore down with an O operator of zero as well. And then for the final one, we're going to have the link. And then for the link, we're going to do um, a masked link. If you guys haven't seen this before, this is basically where uh, the link, for instance, it, I could do the masked link as um, youtube.com. I could do that. But then the URL could take me to twitter.com. So when you click on youtube.com, it will take me to twitter.com. It's just a mask link. It's something cool you can do. And I recommend using it. So to word, link to word. And then out here, we're just going to have the permalink like a so. So basically perm, permalink or just a fallback to the, the main uh, urban dictionary page. Then outside here, we're going to add the timestamp. Remembering to make that a function there and then what we're going to do is set footer as well and inside the set footer we're going to do written by and then author author or unknown now we're just going to go back quickly and add some um semicolons this is good practice it's not necessarily required but in this case i'm just going to add some semicolons here so that looks good and then what we're going to do underneath is message.channel.send and then we're going to send the embed. And then under here, if the uh, it doesn't work correctly, we're just going to console log the error or and then underneath we're going to do message.channel.send and we're going to send looks like I've broken. Try again. And then that is pretty much the entire command. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to let the Oxide Hosting advertisement roll real quick. This video is proudly sponsored by Oxide Hosting. With this hosting company, you can never go wrong. They provide outstanding customer support and all for a low price. Their services range from website hosting to Minecraft server hosting. If you are interested in them, be sure to check out the link in the description below. So now that the bot is running, we are going to test this command. If we type in urban, it will say it won't work because we have this channel here. And this is a little sneak peek to the next episode. What we're going to do is we're going to do urban. It will say, please. Oh, we have a little boo boo there. There we go. We have a little error. So as we run the command, you can see that it works. And then we're going to do urban random and it will respond with a random urban so as you can see here it's got the example the definition it's got this cool logo that i found online it says who it's written by it's got the link to the actual page now let's urban dictionary my name oh sorry urban search and in my name and it will come back with the search results for my name and uh let's use discord's beautiful stupid stupid embed clothes that concludes the tutorial for today. As you can see, we've gone through the urban dictionary command. In the next episode, you'll see that we will be using the XKCD um, comics. And basically, we'll be making a command out that you'll be able to search and also get the latest. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Connie here from Menu Docs, and I hope you have enjoyed this video. And I hope you have been very informed. 
I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah, that body's a blessing, girl. I ain't trying to pressure her. She messed with the temperature. I wrote the song, but I am the messenger. Through the metropolis, there is no stopping this. Flowers and kisses, yeah. I heard you like chocolate.